Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, uh, November the 8th, around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, uh, this market is being an amazingly slow this week. The market is being very, very, very slow this week. And we have taken, I mean, we've been saying today that too much repetition uh, of the same scenario one all over and over again so we have decided to go a little bit in the biggest time frame of the charge and then from there we're going to be able to to give you a better idea of what we are expecting within the market right because uh, technically everyone knows when we stand everyone knows when the market stand and what we are expecting out of this market. So, with that in view, we would like with the dollar index. The dollar index, as you guys know already, it did a three-way move from the highs. It has a questionable either a three-way move here or a questionable five right here. And it looks very corrected to the downside. Now, the dollar index ideally should find support around 75.83, 76.20, and at least another leg down, another leg to the outside should happen in the dollar index. Uh, it's well known already what is our position when we see the charge in gold and the drop in cable when we see how those two pairs I'm favoring the idea because of those two pairs that the dollar index is going to trade to around 75, 80, 50 and then drop that's what we are favoring in that scenario but like I say the dollar index can go there same way uh, like as, I mean and I'm trying to be as clear as possible this move right here when everyone is counting as a five is a very questionable move now the decline looks corrected so far it looks very corrected that's why we favor in the idea of 76 20 75 83 create a bounce in favor of the dollar so that's for the dollar in the a in the four hours so you guys know that when we stand right there when it comes to the next move on the dollar we really believe that the dollar is gonna get strong and then possible is gonna get weak or is gonna get really really strong this it doesn't say too much in my opinion it's very questionable it can be either one of a so what we're spreading a bounce in the dollar now Another pair that is very interesting is oil. If you take a look at oil, it looks like it's ending a wedgie right here. Oil, it looks like a wedging. The momentum is lacking. As you guys can see right here, the momentum is lacking. That's why we still have the possibility of oil being in a flat of oil being in a flat that is gonna take it here and here because the divergency on on the RSI ideally in a three-way move you don't get divergency if you guys look at it it looks like the move started here also and this possibility is also possible even though you guys can see that the deep, deep into wave 4 is above of the wave 2 so I don't like it I don't like that idea so I would rather wait and see how it play now all you guys need to worry about in oil now is that this move is lacking momentum and that it should drop at least one more time before it's gonna go higher that's for oil then we take a look at copper 
and we see like we expressed the other day the idea that copper it didn't correct big enough right here to uh, it didn't correct big enough right there to finish the S way and we're looking for the B way the seed of B before three month legs to the upside it's possible here that is making some type of triangle B weight also. So that's what the long term charge is telling me in this group. The SP, SP also is very high. It looks corrective and it looks like a B weight more than the two. So at least I can see the SP dropping to around this area. But I maybe it's gonna test the high and drop for the S and P. In the case of the euro right here, we got the same scenario. We have an scenario when it looks like we have an scenario when it looks like we have a, a corrective recovery against the high, a very questionable five weeks, and we. I spreading the 3927 area to find resistance and then half a drop from there. I mean, it looks like possible we have discount A, B, and then we can go right here, C and D, and sorry, A, B, and C, and finish around 3929, or we have a triangle in the middle. Many ways, like we've been presenting today, but like I say, due to the fat of copper and due to the fat of, of uh, cable, we are favoring the scenario in euro when we're going to go lower to around 134 or 3 and then from there we're going to see a, a, a recover in euro to test at least 143.50, 144. So that's what we like in Euro and then as you guys know we've been following two pairs uh, we would like to see the dollar yen get to 77.03 and get to 77.03 which is going to be an equivalent uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an equivalent of the 139 on the euro, and then it looks like it's gonna get there tonight. Also, we are waiting for the Singapore dollar right here, which the structure is getting very interesting. I can see five swing, one, two, three, four, five. Probably we are in wave two now and then do a 3, a 4, and a 5 and this is something why we haven't, we haven't been rushing the short the long dollar because we want to be confirmed that the dollar really, really, really is set for another let higher because this right here looks corrective against this the same way that this looks corrective against this so uh, so that's what we're waiting that's what we're waiting but remember only this pair is showing a clear what five waves move in favor of the dollar but remember there is an attendant when they can be a flat but we would like we like to be sure that recover is very corrective so I know that a lead or dollar strain is going to happen here and like I say that's why we do not want to rush the dollar loan so I want you guys to understand that and then cable also is I, I don't know I see the market the market have a great rhythm for the first two for Friday and Sunday and Monday 
but today it's kind it's like the market has lost some type of that rhythm it's something guys sometimes it's something that I feel that I don't know how to express it's something that I feel that I don't know how to express uh, uh, so I'm getting like cable it looks very toppy cable looks very toppy uh, but at the same time I see the Singapore dollar like in its more dollar strain dollar winnings so in my view someone is cheating here and <clears throat> that is a, it's, it's a kind of a red flag for me but I don't know cable sometimes it get into that stage that is it first leave like a right here like a right here that do not move that much so the next 24 hours that are very crucial a 48 hours that are very crucial a move should happen like we discovered like we discuss on the forum a move should happen I would say between around this time tomorrow or that uh, this time tomorrow or early Thursday in the dollar so let's leave it there let's see how the market react let me show you another pair before I leave them because it's too much repetition this is the dollar cat is breaking lower is breaking lower and we following this count when because this was a marginal high we found on this count when we have in the wave 2 or wave B flat but remember also can be like a triangle as far as this low hole so the market uh, the market is gonna be ready very soon to make a move everyone is expert in the dollar move and that scared the hell out of me because when this market become too obvious tell you something guys never happen and won't be the first won't be the last that a, a move that looks very corrective can become impulsive and I don't want to change the move or anything but the move if it's gonna happen needs to happen but needs to happen right now the sooner the later uh, so let's leave it there and let's see tomorrow what we got thank you